Greetings, beloved. John 3, 14 and 15 says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. We go back to Moses in the wilderness, into the book of Numbers, chapter 21, to a time when the children of Israel spoke against God and against Moses for the background to the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the beauty of the Bible and God's revelation as it unfolds. The New Testament is in the Old Testament concealed, but the Old Testament is in the New Testament revealed. Because of the rebellion of the children of Israel, God sent fiery serpents among them, and many died who were bitten by the serpents. God, in his mercy, instructed Moses to make a bronze serpent and put it on a pole in the midst of the camp. Whenever anyone was bitten by a serpent, if he would look to the bronze serpent on a pole, he would live. Now let's reflect. It is surprising that God would use a serpent to represent the Savior. Yet, the Lord Jesus took our place on the cross and was made sin for us. Just as they were to look to the serpent to be healed from death, we are to look to Christ by believing in Him to be saved from spiritual death. Amen.